Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Tuesday, the 19th of December 2023. Looking at this Grim Noir Fortnite action figure. Uh, this came today, along with some other bits and bobs, which I'll be re reviewing. And so I thought I will just make this video now. It does look particularly cool. I am looking forward to this. But before we get into this, please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. See everything before it's published on YouTube. Plus, we have prize draws for competitions. In January, you get the chance to win not one, not two, but all three of the Wave 2 of the Asura 118 scale action figures. So it is worth joining the Patreon just to get a chance to win these because these are particularly cool. I will put a link in the top right of the screen for you if you want to see that review about those. Okay, let me just move these out of the way. Now let's look at our Grim Noir action figure. Let's bring in for a close look. Comes with this, I guess, harvest or this Psy sort of weapon. Look uh, properly. I'm loving the sculpt in this. Face sculpt does look good. That sort of non-painted or black painted eyes with sort of streaming down looks very goth, very sci-fi. Will work with your cyberpunk, your uh, Annex 2179 stuff. Got that gas mask. Just a shame that she can't actually wear that gas mask. I'm assuming she can't. Well, it doesn't come off and I can't see anywhere that it was either fit on. Uh, looks very cool. Soul on her belt. Let's move around. What's this on the shoulder? Some writing there? The ears, I don't know why to make it out even with the camera. I don't think I can make, make it out. Can I? Like, a toy just, just jumped off. No, I can't make out that. But it looks like this, there might be some sort of writing on that. I need a magnifying glass and young eyes. Very, very cool sculpt on her. The um, fingers feel a bit stiff, so it's a bit hard to get the halfting tool. But this is a probably a pre-production uh, model. I've got my hands on here, here in China. That hair looks great, great sculpt. Let's get an idea of her articulation in this current form. Left and right, we have a down, sort of looking to our toes up, not really because the hair and the back of the hood get in the way. Shoulders all the way around, looks to be good on the outsides, on the lateral, yeah, well over flat. Bicep bend, she's got skinny arms. She gets, look at that, 90 degrees, well done. Jazz wears on that. We do like a 90 degree bend minimum. Trunk forwards backwards is tiny, not really side to side. She can turn, looks to be no waist turn. Hips one side is okay, other side the skirt part is not letting her leg move. Forwards this side would be slightly better. It's not great. Backwards the other one is not great. Backwards this one, or forwards that one again is even worse. But you know what, she looks cool. There is a swivel from the hip. I didn't show the hands, but the hands are both wave articulation. Am I right at that? I'm telling a lie. She's got a gun articulation on her right hand, and she's got wave articulation on her left hand. And then double kneecap, very skinny legs. Look at that. Very, very tight. Um, they didn't give a boot turn, which is a shame. Uh, feet, she has an inwards swivel, an outward swivel, which is not that important. Inwards is more important. And then she should have a small tippy toe, we can see there. And her dorsiflexation is small as well. Hardly anything. She will, she will fall over from that, but it's not very big. She is a lovely looking figure. I really like the look of this figure because you fit in into your sci-fi universe, you know. She could fit into a Star Wars universe, she could fit into a more almost contemporary universe, cyberpunk universe, wasteland universe. You know, she work as a sort of a pirate and whatnot. Very, very cool. I do like that. Let's get an idea of size and do a comparison. So in terms of size, she is 
under 11, about 10 and a half cm. Let's compare it to my favorite cigar, the, uh, the Wonder or Cigar, the Survivor, as I call him in my videos, because he keeps surviving all these encounters. Though this one to be uh, one encounter he won't mind so much. So compared to a Boss Fight Studios, this figure scales perfectly well. Nothing, nothing sort of strange there. If I compare to the Annex 2179 female cyborg figure. Again, scales very well there. And she looks like they could fit in the same universe very, very easily. Not much work required at all. Nice looking figure. I hope she comes far more available because I think she looks great and more people need to get their hands on her to add into their Fortnite collection and their own universes. Okay, so awesome much for signing out. Saying please like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon. See the drawing. I'll see you next video soon. Stay happy. Keep collecting. Bye-bye.